this sofa is really on its last legs, my god. If you are a big company with lots of money and would like to get me a new sofa and pay me a huge sum of money to go with it, please do get in touch. You won't, will you? Right, mystery box time again, and I'm going to go along with the slightly different ones again this time. I'm going to start off with the mighty toy box 80s and 90s nostalgia ones, because they went down a treat last time. Well, I don't know if you guys liked them or not, but I did, and that's what counts. Right, here's the first one. Is it 80s? Is it 90s? I've got no idea, because both boxes look physically identical. Let's open it and make an educated guess. Oh, I can't get it open. That's not a good start. No, no, we're all right. Go! Oh, my goodness. Right. There is a figure on top, and it is a very large figure. I'm going to... No, I'm going to get the little one out first, actually, because I think it's going to go flying when I get this giant... Wow. That's... A... Mm, I also don't know what it is. That's not a good start. Right. That's a monster in my pocket. Quite obviously, one of the more rubbery ones. A very rubbery one, actually. I don't remember them being this rubbery. And one of the ones where they did a sort of shit attempt at painting it. Um, I uh, Let's do his head red and his feet green. That'll do it, won't it, Kevin? Yeah, well, we finish early and go down the pub. Right, um, you can't obviously guess which monsters they are. He's got a gas mask on. Lots of hose pies, like the Mad Gasser of Mattoon or something, which is an excellent urban legend that scared the shit out of me when I was young, because it was just a creepy man or personage who went around with a gas mask on. Well, maybe not the gas mask on, actually, but it was apparently gassing people in their beds in the American town of Mattoon. Um, possibly a mass hysteria event, which is quite interesting. But yeah, it's spooky, because, you know, monsters and things are all a bit scary, but humans are the worst of all, because they're real. Anyway, it, actually, they did do ones based on urban legends, that maybe it is the mad gasser of Mattoon. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just talking complete arsewash. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, he looks more like a monster and less like a man, which I suppose, for a monster in my pocket line, does make sense. Do you know, I think when I was young, I didn't realise just how rude monster in my pocket was. Anyway, let's continue. And I'm going to get the giant figure out, because I'm in... Good God! What a lump of plastic this thing is! It's beautiful! In the worst possible way. Right, it's some squid-headed bastard. <laughs> it's very large figures, very chunky. If I had to hazard a guess, um, this is going to be the 90s box, of course, Monster in My Pocket, and I'm guessing Street Sharks. Can we tell? Yeah, Streetwise Designs, that is Street Sharks. This will be an enemy one, I would presume. Unfortunately, I know piss all about Street Sharks, so I couldn't tell you the name. Um, he's got... Oh, God! Water squirting bonce action. Fantastic. Um, and he's got these weird hooks in his back. They seem, seem to just move his arms, but don't move his arms in very much. I don't understand that. Maybe there's an accessory that made that motion make sense. Also, a sort of ball joint on the waist. And loads of legs. Horrible, squirmy, tentacle legs. Lovely. This is a very odd figure. It's got the way around as well. It's really good. Really like it. Got that sort of slight Lovecraftian vibe to it. But yeah... God knows what it's called. Um, street sharks are mostly puns based on the animals they were, so he's something like, I don't know, Death Squid or Killer Calamari or something like that. No bloody idea. I'll look it up later and tell you. No, well, look it up yourself. I'm not your mother. Right, next up. Oh, we've got a game. Oh, it's a Game Boy game, Black Cartridge. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Dicks. I've got to say, these have always come with really good games. They, you know, we'll probably get bloody E.T. of the 2600 in the next one or something, but... Um, yeah, I don't actually... I don't own a copy and I don't think I've played it. Well, doing, I'm really bloody lucky with the retro games out of these things so far. Um, well, let's just see what comes in the next one. It was a... It, I'm trying to think. What did we get last time? It was um, Mario and Yoshi, and the other one had a 2600 game. I think it was it... Frogger? Can't remember now. Damn, that's going to annoy me. Anyway, here are some cards. They have Beavis and yet... Also butt head on. Here they are, wearing thongs. Yep, it's leaving a nasty taste in the mouth. Sporting goods. Woman with no nose. There's good old butt head. <laughs> he's got a head and it's like a butt or something, and he's got some big gums on him and a weird nose. There's Beavis. Oh, we've got both our favourites now. And there they are together doing science. Man, Beavis and Butthead really was the thing of the month, wasn't it? We had to do the spearmint with diarrhoea because the teacher knew that without her she wouldn't have, like, cool properties or whatever. So, like, she came up with an idea or something. She had to show off us cool properties and then she said that we were part photogenic freaks and or photogenetic freaks and part, like, environmental tragedies. Sometimes science is cool, but not often. If you pour salt on a snail, a lot of scientific stuff happens. 
Good work, Mike Judge. Um, yeah, blimey. Um, that doesn't work if you read it out like that, does it? It's the laugh I remember most from Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and all that stuff. God, they were creepy, but they were nifty. Um, birthday. Thinking doesn't suck. Christ, we're going to have nightmares from that one. Naked Colony and Car Wash. Well, thanks for those. Not really interesting, the cards, but they are a bit of a nostalgia hit, aren't they? Um, nothing else in there. And a box. A suspicious box. It says on it, Star Wars Darth Maul. Ooh, that's giving me a bit of a hint. Um, but what is Star Wars Darth Maul? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Maul emerges from a tin with most of his body missing. The tin is a portal to the Sith dimension. The head is like really fantastically detailed. Bloody hell, there really was some good stuff around with the Episode 1 merchandise, wasn't there? Plus there was everything around, because Craig... Star Wars jelly shapes? Oh god, when did these go off? Was it on the... No, it's got to be... Oh, well. Well, from when Phantom Menace came out, I suppose. That's a pretty good guess, isn't it? Then let's see the... Quite massively out of date now. Mm. I'm trying to remember what year Phantom Menace came out. I want to say 1999. I'm not sure that's correct, actually. See, when you get past the age of 35, all the years blur into one and your legs drop off. Well, it's about 17 years out of date or something. I wonder what they taste. Oh, God, it's Anakin's head. It looks like the mummy. Uh, uh. Um, slightly acidy. Slightly fruity. Yeah, I think they're mostly all right. I don't know what they taste like in the first place. There's a little Jar Jar with his mutant bastard face. There's Anakin again. They're all Jar Jars and Anakins. Actually, that seems to be the uh, only two on offer. Oh no, there's a little R2. That's R2's noise. And oh, and there's an Amidala in there as well. Oh no, that's not Hang on. So, Queen Armadillo comes and then looks like a Villain from 70s Doctor Who, actually, craggy. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to try and put these gummy sweets to one side so they don't stick to the table. And we shall go on to the 80s box. 80s box. Oh, God, I love this figure. There's something really... There's something satisfying about big, chunky action figures, isn't there? You wouldn't get ones this big these days unless they cost a bloody fortune. Probably just due to the amount of uh, plastic involved. Right, you sit over there, Maul, with your new best friend. 80s box, we have... Oh, fuck off. Oh dear, sorry about that. <laughs> I fucking talked that up, didn't I? <laughs> I don't believe it actually is an E.T. cartridge for the tri- I actually talked that one up. I did not know this was in there. Um, that's... That's astonishing. Well, we all know how good this game is, right? Use of the joystick controller, please don't. Famously, famously terrible game. There's a lot worse out there, don't get me wrong, but it's still absolutely shite. And of course, every kid wanted it for Christmas because E.T. was the biggest thing ever, and it's a load of Reese's Pieces finding ass. Never mind. Let's move skiffly and blah, <laughs> God. Never, ever joke about these things. They come true. Oh, garbage pail kid stickers. Yes, yes, yes. Right. This is more like it. We've got cleaned up Clint. That's Clint. Um, sucking his own skin off um, with a vacuum cleaner, as you do. Oh, the cat's getting uh, in on the action as well. Oh, there's little things in the back. But, but, can I just see you tonight? No, I never want to see you again. Oh well, I guess we'll never see eye to eye. Uh -huh, that's like two people in one or something. Mosquito getting his head drained by a massive mosquito. Oh god, these things were great. Oh, don't remember this one. Shopping Carter. Just a kid crushed in the bottom of a shopping cart. He doesn't seem to mind though. Good for him. He's implacable. Lox Dorian, and Itchy, oh my god, Itchy Mitch. Do you know, the fact that he's pulling massive welts out of his back with a sort of wooden hand device is bad enough, but back scratcher aside, it's the cracked head that does me. There's something really horrible about that. Oh, cracky. Go on, give us another one. That raisin pie looks delicious. Give me a piece of that raisin pie. I repeat nouns. Huh? Well, I'm sorry, we're out of raisin pie. Shoo. How about a slice of custard pie? Buff. <laughs> yeah, not quite as fun as the um, creatures themselves. Rudy Toot. Wow, that's really unpleasant on, on many fronts. Wade Blade. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, necessary. 
<laughs> Spork head here. Somebody, somebody's cut their finger on it. I like the attention to detail there. Not entirely sure what part of his anatomy that saw is supposed to be. Jess Express, a very, very badly looked after train. And Swollen Sue Ellen. As they said in Preacher, that bloke's got a face like an ass. I mean, in the comic, not in the series. Filler, oh my god. Ugh. Oh man, that actually made me feel slightly nauseous. Good work, Garbage Pale Kids. You've still got the power after all these years. There's an action figure's foot in here, but I'm going to avoid that for a second, because I don't know what it is. And a wrestle figure. Oh man. Not wrestle, muscle. M U S C L E. Um, it stood for something. Oh man, do you know, I don't have any muscle figures at all. I love these things. They go so bloody um, expensive now. So, I've got to try and remember about muscle now, haven't I? Bloody hell. Um. They were a repackaged Japanese thing, weren't they? Um, Kikoman or something? No, that's the make of soy sauce, isn't it? Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't remember it, I'm afraid, but yeah, it was like a Japanese um, manga thing about wrestlers, and uh, the hero wrestler had like a round head with a stripe on it, which is why so many of the muscle figures had that head arrangement. Here's some forearm bastard. He's gonna smack you up good. Good, I tells ya. Oh, he's got like a... I thought he had something riveted on his head, but I think it's actually just a woolen hat. Good for you. I'm really pleased to have a muscle figure again after all these years. Now I want hundreds of other ones. No, I don't. Where would I put them? Oh, yeah, the muscle room. Right, and... Ooh. Oh, oh, God, no. don't get back in there, rat. I've just found another one. Oh, man. That's one of the creepy ones where it's got like a hole where its face should be and BH on it. One of them was just like a toilet or a urinal or something, if I remember. Very odd stuff. Yeah, it has got a bit got a bit sort of dark souls going on there, isn't it? That is a tag team you would not want to come up against. And I notice they're holding hands though, so at least they're friends. That's positive. Right, let's get the rat bloke out and I've got to remember his name. I'm constantly thinking a Ratatar, uh, which is a Pokemon, and that's gonna really bug me. So yeah, this is a Thundercats figure. I never had any Thundercats figures. Um perhaps I was a bit too old for them. I don't know, no, I no, I do remember Thundercats being a thing. Maybe I just didn't like it that much. Yeah, I don't remember watching the cartoon either. Yeah, fuck you, Thundercat. Not my thing. Anyway, there's a switch in his back, which makes him scratch your eyes out. If I remember, he had a... Yeah, he had twin weapons of some type, like spiky knives or sigh or something. I mm, can't remember that much. I used to quite like the designs, but yeah, didn't have any of the figures like. Uh, Rotaro. Oh, thank God, I've managed to uh, talk enough crap to give me time to remember the name. <laughs> it's Rotaro. Um, much like lion -O, the uh, leader of the good guy Thundercats, had an O on the end of his name, so did Rotaro. I don't think any other characters did, which is weird. Uh, maybe it means they're related or something. I'm loving this kind of uh, classic Fu Manchu-style moustache thing he's got going on there. I'm sure he was probably some kind of Thundercats villain and not a very nice one. I genuinely don't remember. All I remember from Thundercats is Safari Joe does it again! Which was probably what put me off watching the cartoon ever again. Nice figures though. Chunky, decent size, nice paint jobs, interesting designs. Doesn't quite live up to old Squid Head here, but that, then again, who possibly could? Right, uh, let's clear this up and jump cut. <laughs> So I looked them up. That's called Kilimari. Yes, Kilimari. Yeah, I know. I was close, but no cigar. But I was correct on the mad gasser of Mattoon. So I want 100 internet points, please. Deliver to my house post haste. Right, next up, Geek Gear Box, which is one of the more interesting ones, which has a slightly more... Well, you've got less chance of getting some kind of model with a large head in this one, put it that way. Plus, I like the boxes. There's a satisfying rip when you open it. But I always do that beforehand on camera in case it goes wrong. Win our ah, I Love Geek Gear prize. Don't want to, thanks. Right, the, ooh, we've got crepe paper going on, which is both red and also blue. I'm guessing a sort of... Uh, is that Captain America Iron Man Civil War thing going on? I don't know, I could be making that up. But the T-shirt is... It's as red and it's got a big spider on. Hmm, that's interesting. I think, oh, we'll smash the camera about. That'll help. Um, I think I know what this is. This is like uh, the shirt. Uh, oh, God, now I've got to remember Spider Man's clone's name, the Scarlet Spider, wears a uh, Ben Riley. That's it. Oh, yeah. 
I like that. He wears it over a blue thing, doesn't he? I think his version doesn't have uh, sleeves, though. There we are. I'll cut those off later and try crawling up a wall or something. Maybe not. Yeah, that's excellent. That's ten points. I'm keeping that. Thank you very much. Good start, good start. Next up, ice cube tray. Less exciting. Hmm. Um, it's sort of Iron Man related by the looks of it. Look, you've got a... Uh... Oh, God, now I can't remember the bloody name of the Iron Man energy thing. Ion something... Ah, that's going to really bug me. Never mind, it's the energy thing, what was in his chest, and then in the film, a Chinese man took it out to appeal more to the Chinese market. Um, yeah, there's some really small detail on there, which is not going to come out nice. A couple of Iron Man masks, you've got the hand going on, and a cupcake, a cog, and a Marvel logo. Yeah, thanks for that one. Well, that's not awful, I suppose. I have seen uh, much worse ice stuff. I've seen much better as well. Loot Crate gave a nice... Um, giant D12 mould, which was uh, sort of the pinnacle of this sort of thing I have seen thus far. Next. Oh god. This is a bit worrying. This looks like a sanitary product that someone has wrapped up to put in the bin. What is... Ooh. Ooh. Oh god. This string. I think it's a bag of some type. Oh, that's better. Um, let's have a peek. Ah, it is literally a sort of... Uh, well, it's a Geek Gear exclusive, that much is sure. And it's got a nice gold um, Flash logo thing on it, and it's a bag. You can put things in it, and then you don't have to carry them individually. And it's got a bit of string, you put it over each shoulder if you wanted. So it's a thin canvas bag. Um, well, I say thin, it's a normal canvas bag, you know what I mean. Um, which you can use to carry things in over shoulders. That's quite nice, I suppose. I don't know if I'd want a big gold flash symbol on the back. Maybe I could turn it the other way, and then nobody would know. Or maybe I could carry it like this, and then never put anything in the way. That's a waste of time. And there's a pissing lanyard. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh hang on. There's a thing stuck to it. Ooh. Oh, I have one of these. Somebody at MCM Manchester, who's running a store, very kindly gave me a couple of wristbands once, um, and this was one of them. Ah, so I've already got one of these. There's loads of logos on it. Look. Look as they spin. You've got all your favourites. Green Flash. Hornet Lantern, Super Bloke, and The Bat Person. All my favourites. Um, they're quite thin, if I remember. I can just about get them on my wrist and they cut off circulation and kill me. No, not quite. They're just hard to get over the hand. And a lanyard. Oh, I want a bloody lanyard. Oh, it's got a little... Oh, that's nice. Nice enamel Superman logo. I do like a nice uh, metal enamel thing, but... Yeah, lanyards. Those of you who remember the early days of the channel will know I've got plenty of those already. Next up is a cardboard thing. A cardboard thing, you say? It's a cat... Oh! I wasn't expecting a Captain America shield on one side and a Batman logo on the other. That's like Marvel and DC together. That's like mixing acids and alkaline, there's going to be a lot of salt. Um, it's Captain America socks. Yes. How odd. So it could have been Batman socks maybe as well. Buy a world, one bear crew socks, Marvel, Captain America. And there he is, it's a little cute Captain America running along with a heart coming out of his mouth because he's burping up bits of a cow, I'm not entirely sure. Right, is that your lot? No. There is a, oh, his little thing. I think that's what tells you what's in it, Mike. Yep, so what could have been different? Oh, it could have been a blue or black Superman lanyard. <clears throat> I think I'm glad I stuck with the black there. Um, oh, and yeah, it could have been Batman socks or Captain America socks. I'm fairly neutral on the socks. Oh, we've got an A4 Iron Man art prints to find yet, but first, there's something else on top, which I can't get off. It's a big sticker of Superman. Being all super. He's looking for truth, justice, and whatever it is he wants for tea. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Iron Man. Airful Prince. And see, it's like the Obama poster, but it's Iron Man. Instead, kind of think that joke played itself out about eight years ago. But never mind. We'll put that in the box and forget all about it. Bloody hell. Whew, there's some stuff. I wanted to do one of those boxes with all the snacks in, but brilliantly, it managed to get wet and uh, damaged, so I'm probably not going to be doing that one this month. So, actually, I'm going to try an experiment. Apparently, uh, the man at YouTube told me there are now polls you can put at the end of videos, or you can set up to appear, um, where you can vote on something when you're watching it. And I'm going to try that. I'm going to try putting up a list of the um, subscription boxes I can get hold of, and you choose which ones you want to see open next month. It's like democracy in action, except nothing like it, or something. Also, it may not work, in which case I will have uh, probably cut away from this instead and had something else going on. Internet!